Hi, I'm Dr. Leslie Cardez, Chief of Gynecology and Director of GYN Robotic Surgery at California Pacific Medical Center. One of the reasons we're talking with you today is to encourage women to know what their options are. And I'd like to talk to you about minimally invasive surgery, the role of robotics in GYN surgery, and a little bit about uterine fibroids, otherwise known as myomas. Fibroids are common, smooth muscle tumors that affect approximately 25% of women. And they're one of the common things that women come to see their gynecologist about. They cause certain symptoms like pelvic pain, painful menstrual cycles, and often cause abnormal bleeding. Sometimes they can also be related in reasons why women have delayed fertility. For women who have fibroids, you should be given the option of minimally invasive surgery the majority of the time for benign disease. However, most women in the country undergo large incisions for their GYN surgery. An average open surgery, patients will spend two to three days in the hospital and approximately six weeks for recovery. Minimally invasive surgery allows the surgeon to make small keyhole incisions five to eight millimeters in diameter, about the diameter of my pinky finger. Through these small incisions, we're able to put a camera, usually at the belly button or umbilicus, and other small incisions in other areas in the abdomen. Through these small incisions, we put laparoscopic ports, and through those ports, we actually put long laparoscopic instruments. The Da Vinci robotic system enables us to do minimally invasive surgery in a very precise, delicate manner. The robotic system on the Da Vinci surgical system has four arms that enable us to hold a camera and three instruments to do our work inside the patient's abdomen. The console is where the surgeon sits, remotely from the patient, and puts their hands in handholds. The motions of the surgeon's hands in the console are mimicked with small motions in the patient's abdomen. The other surgeon stands at the patient's bedside and is able to introduce the instruments in and out of the ports. Minimally invasive surgery has many advantages. Primarily, small incisions mean less pain postoperatively. There's usually less blood loss, more precision, and patients, um, because they have less pain, are able to return to their normal functioning life in a shorter amount of time. I hope this has helped you learn a little bit more about uterine fibroids and options for minimally invasive surgery to treat myomectomies and hysterectomies. I'm Dr. Leslie Cardos, and now you know.